Hey guys, Willow here with Willow's Witchy World once again. I'm back at the Charity Hospital Cemetery. I'm waiting right now for three guests to show up so that we can do another paranormal investigation. So come along. So here we are, This uh, the, right here, we've got our three victims, I, I mean guests. <laughs> so if you guys would like to introduce yourself and let me know if this is like your first investigation, where you're from, that'd be great. Um, I'm Keith Marius Houston from Wilmington, Delaware, and this is my first investigation, and I am super excited. <laughs> I'm Caitlin, I'm from Northeastern Pennsylvania, and I my first investigation. I am the opposite of Keith and more nervous. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex and I am excited as well. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. Big fan of a lot of the ghost shows. <laughs> my first paranormal investigation. Let's go get some ghosts! <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Thanks, guys! Alright, so, are there any spirits out here? If so, can you light up these meters for us? You can't get hurt. And we're not going to hurt you. We're only here to talk. Okay. Come on. Light it all the way up to red. Can you come over here and touch it? Are you here? You want us to go farther down? Are you hiding from us? Okay. You saw it, right? Yep. It, it, it did blip a little bit there. Anyone here with us? Oh. Are you here? I want to point out for everybody that it's really cold here tonight. So we should not be seeing any bugs of any kind. So if we see anything, it could very well be orbs. Can you come over here and touch this? Light it up for us. You know how to do it. You've done it before for me. All right, let's walk this direction. So if you follow me, I'll show you where we used to be able to go in. So the city decided, I guess for our safety, to put up a beautiful chain link fence to keep us away from the memorial area. But I want to point out that right here in front of me, if I can get you to look through this fence, maybe, maybe not. Over here, that is a mass grave to the left. And then again, over to the right, and this goes way, way back. So this goes back a couple, several acres, I know, all the way back. So we're doing a spirit box session with the SB7 spirit box right now. And we're getting some response. We've heard our name. And that doesn't affect that. How many are here with us right now? Seven? Yeah. Can you touch the EMF detector? Light it up for us. If you're here, can you make the meter light up? Light it. The light? Yes. Yes, the light. Can you make it light up again? Can you make it go all the way to the red?
If you're a woman, can you light up the meter for us? Don't be afraid, it can't hurt you. Girl. If you're a man, can you light that up for us? Can you touch that meter? You just have okay. to touch it. I see you trying. You can keep going. You can do it. There you go. You get out of there. There you go. Keep going. There you go. Keep going. You got it. You got it. How far can you light it up? sure it's not going to be that. Did you die at the charity hospital? You say yes, you've been here. How did you die? Yes. Do you remember how you died? Was it a hurricane? Was it before the hurricane? Oh, he said blood. He said blood? Are you stuck here? If you give me your name, I'll put you in my prayer list. So if any of the viewers are hearing anything, you can put it down with the time marker in the uh, comments and we'll be able to pick up on it maybe. Sometimes you hear better than we do. Okay, well we're going to go up front. You're welcome to join us. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. I don't know if it was a reflection or I thought I saw something moving. Take pictures. Oh. Can you, tell us your name? This is the Necrophonics app, so I just want to point that out. It is one of those apps you have to purchase, but it's like 10 bucks. It's not really that much. And lots of the people that are doing investigations are using this now. And it does work. I've used it for quite some time. So can you tell us your name? Is that Billy? No. I even heard Warren. Billy, I heard Billy Zach Warren. Willow. Hi. Sleep. Oh, 
Are you upset that they put that fence up? Oh, you couldn't even get that out of the sick, yes. So we like to visit you, and now we can't go back there to visit you. You'll have to come up here. Are you stuck? Are you stuck here? Feel free to an ask questions, guys. Do you want to leave? What's holding you back from leaving? I think it's seeing us. Can you pass over? Can you go into the light? If you're here, can you come closer to us? Can you make this meter go off if you're closer? If you're lonely, you can come stand next to me. I'm seeing lots of little mists going around. Is that you? Did you hear that? Uh, Did you die at the hospital? Yes. Do you like me? That's the third time it said my name. That was the third time. Third time it said my name. Do we? Do you know Keith? Are standing around us right now. Say it again. Did you did you hear it? Say it again. Are you calling me? Yes. Yes. You have a message for him. Listen. Hi. Is it Willow? Oh, that one was different. <laughs> they gave me goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was Willow. It said my name like six times now. Willow. Keep Willow, keep Willow, hi. Well, what's what's your message besides saying our name? What do you have something that you want us to know? Do you know me? Yeah. 
I need, need help. help. You heard that too. Do you need me to help you cross over? <laughs> that definitely said fuck. <laughs> Do you need me to help you? Do you need me to open the door and let you op let you go through? Yes. I said yes. Need help. Need help. Yeah. Is it no hope? Did you just say no hope? I'll, I'll tell you what, I will come back and I will do that. I will help you by opening the door, okay? And I'll help you so you can cross over whoever wants to go. That thing said my name like five times. What is your name? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell Willa your name Alex. so she can help you? They just said Alex. Did you hear that? Why did you say Alex? Oh, it said it again. Creepy man, or... <laughs> it said it again. Because they have to manipulate this, so it sounds kind of funny. Yes. Were you talking to Alex just now? Are you mad at Alex? Yes. Please tell me now. <laughs> They're not mad at you. It's okay. <laughs> Is it no scared? What? You're using a lot of energy to do this, huh? Are you tired? Do you like me using this better than the other SB7 box? Yes. Yes. Yeah, this one's so much better. It's easier to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Is this saying hope? Hope? Are you looking for hope? Is that is that a name? Is hope your name? <laughs> Hi, Hope. Is she in Hope? Yeah, because that's her name. Hi, Hope. Your meter went off a little bit? Your meter went off? Hope, if you're here, can you come stand next to us? Can you touch the meters and light them up? Oh, that was a whole sentence. What was that? That was a Keith. Well, yeah. Keith again. Hope, can you make Caitlin's meter go off? <laughs> oh. Can you just come stand next to us, Hope? <laughs> That's her. That's her. You can hear. That's her. That's her. Right there. Right there. That's her. Hope, I hear you trying to talk to us. What are you saying? Should be talking. Can you come closer and talk slower for us? Oh. What'd you hear? Can you lower? Oh. oh, did you die in the hospital? She's talking, but there's too many people talking at one time. 
They don't know about lines. <laughs> There's so many of them talking at one time. I always try to tell them, please stand in a single line and talk to me one at a time. They and don't do that. Everybody just stop talking so we can talk to Hope for a second. Right there. She's oh. <laughs> No. Okay. So, all right. Sorry. Yes. There you are. I hear you, Hope. Hello. Hello. Well, hello. How are you? Besides, besides being there. <laughs> Can you help me? Help you need me. help? <laughs> you need help crossing over? I don't think I'm qualified for that. Then. Well, I am, so I'm going to come back and do it. <laughs> No, oh, look, it's going no. Oh, is that because of this? No, it's not no. Of this. it doesn't generally do that. <laughs> yes. Say what? What do you need to say? What do you need to say? Well, it's really, really cold out here, and I think we're going to go and talk to some other spirits as well, but I'll be back to help cross Hope and anybody else over that wants to go. Okay? She said yes. I will be back. Oh, she, lit up. she said yes, and it lit up. I promise, okay? I'll come back. All right, Hope. Thank you. Bye. Oh, bye. bye. Okay. Well, we just finished inside of the cemetery, and my three new friends <laughs> have made friends with a lot of the ghosts. Seriously. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. They love to say our names. Um, I think I have to come back now and cross a bunch of them over. But that's okay, because that's what I do. And, you know, I like to help the spirits. They need help just as much as the living. We need to help Hope. <laughs> hope needs help. So we're, I'm going to come back and help Hope. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> All right, we're going to head back to my house now, and we are going to do a seance. So we did go back to my home afterwards for a seance, but that turned out to be a little bit too much personal information. So I chose not to add that into this video. Instead, we did do a necrophonics app session in my house, and we did talk to more spirits. That will be in a separate video to come. So stay tuned. Well... There we go. Another Willow's Witchy World adventure. And it was a lot of fun tonight. I loved my three guests. They had so much fun and they were fun to have along. And yeah, one even got touched. That was pretty cool right here in my living room. I love it. I love it when the spirits interact with us. So I hope you had a great time. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And when that little bell pops up, make sure you hit that bell. And also share it with your friends. Let's help spread the word and get this channel to grow. And until next time, I hope you have your very own witchy little adventure.